Hi everyone and welcome to this video in which I'm going to be discussing what it means for you if you've got Saturn in your fourth house in your astrological birth chart. So this is considered to be a very difficult placement for Saturn. Now Saturn always comes with its challenges and difficulties no matter where it is. This is especially true if it's in one of the angular houses, first house, fourth, seventh and the tenth, uh, the fourth house. Um, yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough placement. And um, to, to understand why and, and what that means, we have to know what is Saturn. Saturn, the ringed planet, is the, it's like the, the ruler of the boundary between the material, the personal and the immaterial and the generational um energies planets it sits at that boundary between you know the um the inner planets and the the outer ones so saturn is all about the boundary it's about the gate it's about restriction and limitation hard reality hard facts hard work uh it's represented uh by father time uh sometimes um the devil also the Lord of the Harvest, um, it's associated with karma. It's also associated with things like uh, prison wardens, exam invigilators, um, strict parents. So with Saturn, yeah, we, we do see hardship, limitation, hard work, but we also see a great opportunity for reward if we put in the work, reward in terms of spiritual growth, typically kind of stuff that doesn't happen overnight and where we see Saturn in our birth chart yes there's going to be karma it's going to be difficulty it's going to be challenge it's going to be suffering however like I'm saying there is also an opportunity for tremendous strength wherever Saturn is in the birth chart it tends to be some somewhere that we are very serious about even if we struggle with that energy as we get older we tend to embody it more and be more comfortable with it and once we've integrated Saturn's lessons, especially after we're over uh, our first Saturn return. Um, so, you know, essentially, these are the kind of themes that, you know, are relevant for Saturn and the birth chart to, to, to know about. Obviously, we can talk a lot more about it, but those are just kind of more of the, the basic kind of uh, building blocks. Um, building blocks. I think that's quite a Saturnian phrase as well. I think with Saturn it's almost like I envisage blueprints that maybe we receive but we have to actually build it ourselves and that is whatever the, the lessons and the tribulations that Saturn brings. It's like we, we have it in us to build something uh, through hard work. So once we know what Saturn is we think okay well what is the fourth house? Fourth house is the most um, hidden and uh, deep point of uh, the birth chart you know it's, it's right at the bottom there the fourth house and this is uh, a water house so it's emotional and it's intuitive uh, and it's more subjective it's also associated with the sign of cancer so we're you know it's uh, the crab it is family it is the mother, it is history, the past, ancestry, lineage, childhood experiences, privacy as well. And yeah, emotions, emotional needs. Now, the, this is the home of the moon as well. Like obviously for your birth chart, the moon could be anywhere. It may also be in the fourth house. It might not be statistically. It's more likely to not be. It's one in 12 chance, I suppose it is. I don't know, but the moon uh, is associated with this house so yes this is the house of your your inner world your inner emotional needs and your intuition so with the birth chart there's really it's kind of like the tree of life where the below the uh, ecliptic it's like the roots and above the ecliptic it's the, the tree and it's the branches and it's the, the leaves and, and everything like that. This is the visible part. Well, the fourth house, tenth house axis, that is more more strongly than any of the other houses. This really represents the roots, as tenth house represents the, the visible parts of the tree. 
So fourth house is roots, it's foundation, um, emotional foundation, psychic foundation, um, mental foundation, like, and uh, so it represents, you know, like, an, um, yeah, that sense of inner peace, strength, security, serenity, um, kind of hearth, you know, and um, self-nurturance as well. So fourth house is really like stuff like that, you know. So if you have Saturn in the fourth house, so yes, this is, is a difficult placement because Saturn is going to, generally it's going to restrict, it's going to make it difficult to access that energy. You're going to have problems there, you're going to have karma there. If you have Saturn in the fourth house, you may not have experienced a lot of emotional support or a sense of closeness from your family, your parents, particularly your mother. She might be more serious, more distant, maybe a very hard worker, maybe a very responsible person. Might have done well for money, but the there is a distance there, physically, emotionally, almost like she maybe kept you at arm's length. So, the, yeah, just maybe not a lot of hugs, not a lot of um, uh, real kind of emotional connection. That being said, it doesn't mean that the love wasn't there. If you got Saturn in the fourth house, that might well be the case. It might well be that you didn't have a mother or she was not there or whatever. You might have had a mother who is just very hard working, maybe wanted to spend a lot of time with you, but just couldn't because she had to go out and work might have a mother in your childhood who loved you very much but found it difficult to express those emotions and that have that emotional connection maybe whatever reason she maybe just wasn't good at it or found that difficult so it's a saturn in the fourth house it doesn't mean that the love isn't there but maybe you felt like you weren't receiving it or um it wasn't expressed properly in a way that you really felt it you know so um yeah, a lot of tough love, really, from your, your parents, particularly your mother. Um, you know, maybe made to feel, you know, really responsible and dutiful. You might have felt like there's a burden placed on you maybe really early on. I think you... So I think maybe Saturn in the fourth house, it does come with maybe a kind of um, emotional um, difficulty at times. And I mean... There is a sense of unsettledness, like maybe not so good at self-soothing, not so good at doing that. So you maybe don't know how to really calm yourself down and bring yourself down and make yourself feel more safe and secure and calm. Um, with Saturn there, because, you know, like, like I was saying, fourth house is that serenity, it's the foundation. It's your inner world. And if you've got Saturn there, it's putting a block on all of that. It's making it hard to access that energy. So you're going to find that difficult. So there could well be a feeling of just being unsettled a lot of the time, anxiety, depression, maybe. And, um, you know, uh, one of the things with Saturn in the fourth house here as well, it could well be that you find it difficult to start a family. You find that difficult. It doesn't naturally happen. It's issues there, problems there. It doesn't necessarily mean that you don't want that. Because with, with Saturn, you know, like we're serious about wherever Saturn is. So you could be serious about that. That could be something that you want. But having Saturn in the fourth house here, it might be a bit more difficult. Might be a bit might be a bit more difficult to do that. Um, as well, another thing with Saturn in the fourth house is uh, working from home. So Saturn is uh, hard work, uh, commitment, it's being dutiful, you know, represents time. So putting the time and the effort you know time and effort that's really saturnian so if you got that in the fourth house you're working from home there's many ways that you can work from home like there's lots of ways but you could well find yourself in a job or a career where like yeah you're at home a lot you're working from home a lot um definitely i think um you know there you know i'm saying saturn is the lord of karma you know it is the the lord of the harvest you know you uh reap what you sow so having that in the fourth house, there could well be some really strong family karma here, uh, karmic connection with the mother, 
especially. Now, it could be either parent. It honestly could. Fourth, tenth house. Some people think, you know, fourth house is the fourth house of the father, tenth house is the house of the mother. I am significantly more, uh, like, uh, but of the of the opinion that fourth house is the mother. But it could literally be any parent that maybe takes on a more uh, motherly role, I suppose. And that could well be your dad or whatever caregiver. But the chances are that there is a strong karmic link here. It could be some past life stuff. Um, there could be just some difficulty here that, um, yeah, it needs some karma that needs to be burned up. Some stuff that needs to be worked through. Um, so yeah, karma in the, in the home. So fourth house represents the childhood home. So with Saturn there, you might have spent a lot of time on your own. You might have felt a bit disconnected from the rest of your family. And um, yeah, I got, I'm, I'm thinking that. So like you might not necessarily be in like the, the most happy um, child, really. There, I think there's like, yeah, so difficulty at home of, of some kind. So, um, you know, um, as well, another theme with that is because fourth house is, you know, the house of the IC as well, which is, you know, representative of, you know, depending on your school of thought, yes, past lives, you know, the soul history. Um, when it, when it comes to past lives and that, I do believe in that. Absolutely. I also, my, my, um, understanding and beliefs about time is like, it's, it's not so much that things um are necessarily in the past like because my, my my belief about time is almost like everything is almost happening at once but we are kind of tuned in in a way that it seems like things are sequential and it seems like there's stuff in the past and stuff in the future but in my understanding it's almost like everything's happening all at the same time but to simplify it i would say past lives and i would also say um ancestral karma as well so it could well be that you're born into a family in order to um, help them deal with some karma with some difficulty with some unresolved stuff and you've got Saturn in the fourth house there so there is um, work that you're doing on a karmic level to kind of um, burn up that karma and, and ease that karma and, and uh, uh, fulfill it you know, in a sense, to kind of help your family or or help um, them on a soul level um, as well. And um, yeah, with Saturn in the fourth house as well, as well, you know, um, meant, meant to mention this earlier, it's like, because fourth house is your emotional, you know, foundation and your sense of, you know, uh, yeah, your foundation and your, um, provides you with a sense of like calm and, and uh, a sense of being in control as well, like I'm saying, it's it's the real root roots of, of your birth chart if you got Saturn there. And you are yeah, less likely to be able to emotionally regulate so well, especially when you're younger. Could well be that you're dependent. You become dependent on others to maybe fulfill that role for you and help you to feel safe and feel secure. Because you don't necessarily have that in you to do that. Where like you could just be like, Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Maybe things aren't going so well in my life whatever, maybe things, you know, a little bit, um, a little bit dicey, you know, like life can get difficult sometimes, but you're like, you know what, I'm doing okay. If you got Saturn in the fourth house, you're going to find that more difficult. So you're more likely to maybe like lean on someone or, or need that kind of connection and that support from them in order to do that until you learn how to have internalize that so that you don't need someone else to do that. You can do that on your own. You know, and that is something that you will build in this life as well, because Saturn wants you to build all these skills. Difficult to um, do all this stuff, but Saturn wants you to build it. It wants you to cultivate that inner strength in order to be more um, independent. That's a really strong theme here. And um, as well, because Saturn is stuff that you're serious about. And fourth house being your family, both the family that you come from and the family that you may build. So you're very serious about that. And as I've said, that might be more difficult to start that family. I would say you're very serious and very sense of duty and responsibility toward your parents. So um, despite there being difficulty here, karma, the relationship with your parents might not always be easy. It's like you're super serious about them and your connection with them and the love that you have. 
and being responsible as well so like you're super super wanting to show up for your parents you know um and it's like them with you as well so there's a definitely the because that's that saturn strength you know so there's a real strength there that even though there's difficulty there is a super serious like bond there you know like uh really really being uh wanting to show up for them and um them for you as well you know so um even though it's difficult you know you really want to be there for them you know so that's one of the good things about Saturn in the fourth house. Um, but yeah, so like that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, please leave a comment, hit the bell icon. And um, uh, did I say subscribe? Yes, yeah, subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Um, bye for now.